हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ वांड्रे शीतल फ्रॉम रेड शिक्षण संस्था राव बहादुर नारायण राव वरोके कॉलेज सिरामपुर दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेर्ड अंडर द गाइडन्स एंड सपोर्ट ऑफ ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर गायकवाड साहेब दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर द एजुकेशनल पर्पन्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट द नर्वस सिस्टीम प्रेजेंट इन हाइड्रा एंड नर्वस सिस्टीम प्रेजेंट इन प्लैनेरियम्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो हाउ द नर्वस सिस्टीम वर्किंग इन ह्यूमन एंड विच टाइप ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टीम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ह्यूमन बॉडी देर आर थ्री डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टीम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ह्यूमन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू स्ट्रक्चर लोकेशन फंक्शन दे आर परफॉर्मिंग द मेरी इम्पॉर्टंट वर्क दैट इज टू कंट्रोल ऑल द बॉडी एक्टिविटीज एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज हियर दैट ब्रेन इट इज नथिंग बट द मास्टर ऑर्गन ऑफ अवर बॉडी एंड अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ दिस ह्यूमन ब्रेन ऑल द फिजियोलॉजिकल मेटाबॉलिक इन वॉलंट्री वॉलंट्री एक्टिविटीज वर्कस आउट नाउ कम टूअर्ड्स हियर द थ्री डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टीम्स द फर्स्ट इज द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टीम द सेकंड पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टीम एंड थर्ड ऑटोनॉमस नर्वस सिस्टीम दिस सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टीम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द टू इम्पॉर्टंट पार्ट दैट इज द ब्रेन एज वेल एज द स्पाइनल कोड दिस पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टीम शोज दैट द नर्व्स विच ओरिजिनेट from the spinal cord and these nerves that will be get spread throughout the body means the periphery suggests that the surrounding the surrounding organs control is under this peripheral nervous system the third autonomous nervous system it classified into sympathetic as well as the parasympathetic nervous system this autonomous nervous system that auto indicates the self when the person requires to take the self decision at that time this autonomous nervous system is in the active form now come towards the first central nervous system this central nervous system is showing the main important part that is the brain as well as the spinal cord now this brain and spinal cord which is enclosed that brain it is the important organ which is present in the head region and it is protected in the brain box that we called it as the cranium the second is the spinal cord and this spinal cord it is protected into the vertebral column that spinal cord is again shows here the protection that is the three different covers and these covers that we called it as the meninges therefore here in the structure of this spinal cord we are finding that different types of the protective cover and these covers they are the meninges having the different forms the first outermost that is the dura mater after that the second is the arachnoid mater and third is the pi mater these three meninges covers the spinal cord now what is this dura mater this dura mater in diagrammatically if we are observing that structure here the outermost cover that shows here the dura mater is that this dura mater it is the tough in nature and due to this tough in nature it is the protective in function it is the non vascular also having the thick the fibrous meninges and it get attached to the inner side of the cranium it is separated from the arachnoid matter here the second suppose the arachnoid matter is present at that location in between this dura mater as well as this arachnoid mater here the space is present and this space is known as the subdural space this arachnoid mater it is the second mater or the middle one which is the thin non vascular layer of the connective tissue and they are having the web like appearance it is again separated from the pi mater because the inner side at this here the pi mater is present and this 
थ्री मैटर्स दे आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर दैट ईच मैटर हियर इट डोंट हैव द कनेक्शन बिकॉज हियर द सब ड्यूरल स्पेस इज प्रेजेंट एंड द स्पेस विच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द अरेक्नोइड मैटर एंड बिटवीन द पाय मैटर दैट इज कॉल्ड इट एज द सब अरेक्नोइड स्पेस एंड दिस सब अरेक्नोइड स्पेस हियर इट इज फिल्ड विथ अ फ्लूड दैट इज कॉल्ड इट एज द सिरेब्रो स्पाइनल फ्लूड एंड दिस थर्ड वन इज द पाय मैटर दिस इनर पाय मैटर it is the delicate which is the highly vascular it lies in close contact with the central nervous system now come towards the cerebrospinal fluid what is the role of this csf or the cerebrospinal fluid this cerebrospinal fluid here it is the lymph like substances it is the having the alkaline ph that is having the specific gravity 1.005 and this cerebrospinal fluid it is secreted by the region present in the brain that is the choroid plexus of the pi matter which is present inner to subarachnoid space of the ventricle present within the brain of the central canal of spinal cord this cerebrospinal fluid it is separated from pi matter the choroid plexus and the epididymal cells the inner lining the ventricles of the brain the central canal of spinal cord these are also showing the composition of the cerebrospinal fluid or these organs they are in association with the cerebrospinal fluid now which are the main roles of this cerebrospinal fluid present inside the brain they are showing the sac absorber because if the any mechanical injury is there at that time the cerebrospinal fluid helps to protect the brain therefore they are also called it as the shock absorber they provide the brain from the mechanical injuries they also maintain the constant pressure inside the cranium they helps here to exchange the nutrient and the waste from blood to different tissues they helps in supply of oxygen to the brain they protect the brain from the drying or they protect the brain from the desiccation these main important functions or main important role takes place with the help of these cerebrospinal fluid now come towards the second portion that is the brain this brain here it shows that the classification or in the outline divides into three major parts that is the forebrain midbrain as well as the hindbrain okay this human brain it is made up of the mostly forebrain is the first then the second one is the midbrain and the third one is the hindbrain okay these are the three major parts of the human brain now come towards here the forebrain now what is the composition of this forebrain is that this forebrain it is made up of the olfactory lobes then second it is made up of the cerebrum and third it is made up of the diencephalon these are the three important organs in association with the forebrain now which are these olfactory lobes or what is the role of these olfactory lobes present in the brain these olfactory lobes they are responsible for the sensation of the smell they are having the two openings outside and internally they are showing the two spots present on the brain and the main function of these olfactory lobe they are helps in the sensation of the smell the poor development of the olfactory lobes they are indicating that the poor sensation of the smell now the second portion is the cerebrum this cerebrum here what it made up of here on this diagram that cerebrum it shows that the different parts or the different lobes present in the human brain that is the frontal parietal occipital as well as the temporal 
these are four different lobes present in that structure of the cerebrum and this cerebrum it is the largest part of the brain all over here the 85 percent of the total brain is get occupied with the help of these cerebrum now what is the role of these each lobe present inside the cerebrum that is the frontal lobe this frontal lobe it controls here all the voluntary activities of the body along with that here that shows the association with the broca's area or we called it as the motor and speech area that shows the function for the intelligence emotion will power memory and the personality because these all the things they are related with the frontal lobe then second is the parietal lobe this parietal lobe here it shows the pain pressure temperature as well as the taste the temporal lobe this temporal lobe shows the function that is they are responsible for the sensation of the smell they are responsible for the hearing they are responsible for the speech as well as the emotions then the occipital lobe this occipital lobe here it is having connection with the eyes because the vision image identification that is depends on the working of this occipital lobe okay this is about the different lobes present into the cerebrum and their function okay in the next lecture we are going to show in detail composition of the other elements parts present in the brain thank you